The Mystery of the Ancient Aliens in the Constellation Orion Orion's belt is an asterism in the constellation Orion. It consists of three very bright stars, almost perfectly aligned, easily recognizable with the naked eye in the starry sky. Alnatak, Zeta Orionis, Alnilum, Epsilon Orionis, and Mentaka, Delta Orionis. These are the subject of many mythological and religious references. Visible from Romania during April to November. The constellation Orion is also known as Aquarius. Through it passes the celestial equator and is one of the most famous constellations since antiquity. The stars were associated with Osiris. The god of death and the underworld in ancient Egypt, the Sumerians believed they were part of the image of a shepherd. In China, Orion was one of the 28 houses Su, Shu, in Finnish mythology. The constellation Orion appears under the name of Vanamoinen's scythe, Indian mythology knew her as Vyud, which means hunter. The Aztecs called Orion's sword and belt, the exercise of fire, and so on. The most important stars in this constellation are Rigel, Psyph, Bellatrix, Betelgeuse, Alnatak, Alnilum and Mantaka. If you look closely at these stars, you will notice that Rigel is the brightest of them and has a blue hue, while Betelgeuse has a reddish hue. The other stars have different degrees of brightness and all have the same whitish hue. Sacred Cross of Orion, researching the African Chokwe culture, which appeared in the current territory of Zambia, Marcus Mather, author of the volume, Chokwe Art and its History, noticed that on some gold tablets there is a regular path to the ancestral gods. Very easy to decode, the African tablets are not older than a thousand years, according to the dates. But the elders of the tribe claim that the legend has long been transmitted by word of mouth and was eventually recorded in the form of symbols, so as not to be lost. The Great Pyramid of Cheops. The Pyramid of Kephron and that of Mykerinos are arranged like the three stars in the hunter's belt. The significance of this correspondence has fascinated many scholars and still gives rise to theories about the mystery of the Egyptian pyramids. Should the settlement be purely coincidental? Hard to believe the bizarre celestial maps, upstairs, in the Dogon Plateau, there is a cave on the walls of which there are drawings of maximum strangeness. At the entrance there is always a guard. A holy man, chosen for life by his tribe, who feeds him and takes care of his needs, but whom no one can touch or approach. This cave contains incredible objects and information, which defy the imagination of contemporary man. The most important of the drawings is, in fact, an astronomical scheme, which refers to the brightest celestial body, known as Sirius A. On a night with clear skies, if we locate the belt of Orion, with the three stars of its placed in a straight line, we can distinguish this very bright star. All these celestial configurations are drawn in the cave of the Dogons, but, surprisingly, next to them there is a celestial body that revolves around Sirius. The positioning of the three planets is depicted as a clock indicating 1210. Charles Marcello, an astronomy enthusiast and critic of the 2012 apocalypse theories, made diagrams representing the moment of convergence with the Egyptian pyramids at Giza. The Ancient Aliens series has reached season 5. Among other topics developed, there is a question to think about, who taught our ancestors to build the pyramids? It is hard to believe that the Incas, Mayas, Egyptians, Hindus, etc. exchanged information in a world where there were supposed to be no airplanes, internet, radio and TV broadcasts, etc. The similarities between the pyramidal constructions are amazing. Not to mention the fact that the ancients had a fixation on building gigantic monuments. It seems that the source of these constructions were extremely intelligent beings who had serious knowledge of astronomy, mathematics and the geophysical properties of the Earth. Who were they? Where did they come from? There are striking similarities between the pyramids of Montevecchia, Italy and the famous Egyptian pyramids of Giza. The pyramids are located in Lombardy, about 40 kilometers northeast of Milan and about 15 kilometers south of Lecco, in the town of Rivagnate, on whose territory is a small village called Montevecchia, near which there are three hills, in the form of clear aligned pyramids. These hills were discovered by the architect Vincenzo di Gregorio in 2001. The largest measuring 150 meters would be a giant pyramid. 
larger than that of Cheops, 146 meters, on the Giza Plateau in Egypt. The degree of inclination of the three pyramids is 43 44 of a degree and they are perfectly aligned with the constellation Orion. There are a lot of similarities with the Egyptian pyramids. How did they manage to have the same construction projects as long as the shipping was not very evolved at that time? The Indonesian pyramid at Kandi Sukkah seems to be the work of the same ancient engineer who built the famous building at Chichen Itza. The Mayan pyramid at Tikal has a similar copy in Cambodia. Back say Chamkrong, it is hard to believe that ancient engineers had in mind the same type of construction, with striking similarities without any common influences. Such giant constructions are still a challenge for humanity today, although there is high performance technology. The bizarre celestial maps, exclamation mark, upstairs, in the Dogon's plateau. There is a cave on the walls of which there are drawings of the utmost strangeness. At the entrance there is always a guard, a holy man, chosen for life by his tribe. Who feeds him and takes care of his needs, but whom no one can touch or approach. This cave contains incredible objects and information, which defy the imagination of contemporary man. The most important of the drawings is, in fact, an astronomical scheme, which refers to the brightest celestial body, known as Sirius A on a night with clear skies, if we locate the belt of Orion. With the three stars of its placed in a straight line, we can distinguish this very bright star. All these celestial configurations are drawn in the cave of the Dogons, but, surprisingly, next to them there is a celestial body that revolves around Sirius. The positioning of the three planets is depicted as a clock indicating 1210. Charles Marcello, an astronomy enthusiast and critic of the 2012 apocalypse theories, made diagrams representing the moment of convergence with the Egyptian pyramids at Giza. The Ancient Aliens series has reached season 5. Among other topics developed, there is a question to think about, who taught our ancestors to build the pyramids? It is hard to believe that the Incas, Mayas, Egyptians, Hindus, etc. exchanged information in a world where there were supposed to be no airplanes, internet, radio and TV broadcasts, etc. The similarities between the pyramidal constructions are amazing, not to mention the fact that the ancients had a fixation on building gigantic monuments. It seems that the source of these constructions were extremely intelligent beings who had serious knowledge of astronomy, mathematics and the geophysical properties of the Earth. Who were they? Where did they come from? There are striking similarities between the pyramids of Montevecchia, Italy and the famous Egyptian pyramids of Giza. The pyramids are located in Lombardy, about 40 kilometers northeast of Milan and about 15 kilometers south of Lecco, in the town of Rivagnate, on whose territory is a small village called Montevecchia, near which there are three hills, in the form of clear aligned pyramids. These hills were discovered by the architect Vincenzo di Gregorio in 2001. The largest measuring 150 meters would be a giant pyramid, larger than that of Cheops, 146 meters, on the Giza Plateau in Egypt. The degree of inclination of the three pyramids is 43 44 of a degree and they are perfectly aligned with the constellation Orion. There are a lot of similarities with the Egyptian pyramids. How did they manage to have the same construction projects as long as the shipping was not very developed at that time? It is hard to believe that ancient engineers had in mind the same type of construction, with striking similarities without any common influences. Such giant constructions are still a challenge for humanity today, although there is high performance technology. Teotihuacan, the pyramid located 35 miles northeast of Mexico City, in a highlands plateau, is the huge archaeological site of the ancient city of Teotihuacan. Established around 100 BC, and lasting until its fall between the 7th and 8th centuries, Teotihuacan was one of the largest cities in the ancient world, with over 150,000 inhabitants at its height. As you walk through the city, you would immediately notice the difference compared to other ancient cities. Teotihuacan is amazing, she has this advanced but old cut in it. Teotihuacan has a modern city look. 
you have a street of the dead that goes for miles, along which you have all the major ceremonial architecture, including some of the largest buildings ever built in the New World. According to advanced design archaeologists Teotihuacan suggests that ancient builders had knowledge not only of architecture but of complex mathematical and astronomical sciences. And one of the things that is simply incredibly amazing and different from all other ancient sites is the fact that from the air, the appearance of the city of Teotihuacan strangely resembles a computer circuit board with two large processor chips, the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon. Researchers have also discovered numerous and remarkable similarities with the Great Pyramids of Egypt. As you can see, the appearance of the three main pyramids in Teotihuacan incredibly resembles a modern circuit board with processes. And this detail is unique to Teotihuacan and like many other details can only be appreciated from the sky. And we know that the placement between these ancient monuments were not accidental and had a mathematical, geometric and geographical influence. Is it possible that in the structure of the city of Teotihuacan a hidden pyramid code is waiting to be found? Researchers have also discovered numerous and remarkable similarities with the Great Pyramids of Egypt. The Great Pyramid of Cheops at Giza and the Sun Pyramid at Teotihuacan apparently have about the same base of almost 750 square meters. The Pyramid of the Sun is exactly half as high as the Pyramid of Giza and the Temple of the Sun, the Temple of the Moon, and the Temple of Quetzalcoatl are in the same appearance as the Belt of Orion. Which is actually the formation in which the three pyramids on the Giza Plateau were provided in the best possible way. So this is simply too complex to be just a coincidence as some researchers refer to. You have an ancient civilization in Egypt and you have another in central Mexico. Separated by over 7,000 miles, but who built their monuments in such alignment to the constellation Orion that leaves researchers, archaeologists and scientists baffled. You can try to explain this, but no logical conclusion can be reached, other than that these civilizations must have been linked in some way. One of the most interesting things about Teotihuacan is the finding by archaeologists of the widespread use of small embedded in numerous structures. This mineral is found 3,000 miles away in Brazil and is found in all buildings, housing complexes, temples and along roads, so practically this mineral is everywhere in Teotihuacan. The Pyramid of the Sun in Teotihuacan contains considerable amounts of small layers of up to 30 centimeters. Small human use dates back to prehistoric times. Mica was known for the ancient Indian, Egyptian, Greek and Roman and Chinese civilizations, as well as the Aztec civilization of the New World. The earliest use of mica was found in cave paintings created during the Upper Paleolithic, 40,000 BC to 10,000 BC.